Hey, welcome back, you beans, to another video here on the channel. How are you all doing? Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Today's episode in the How to Tame video, we're going to be showing you how to tame the Doa Dick. Because the Doa Dick is a main tame in Ark, and I can't believe I haven't covered it yet. Everybody needs a Doa Dick. This is a Doa Dick. Ignore the fact it's aberrant, I just spawned it. So, this is a Doa Dick. Uh, basically, what we want to do is tame this guy and show you all of its abilities. So, I'm going to be showing you how to trap it, how to tame it, knock it out. Whatever its best taming method is, I'm going to show you each taming method. And then we're going to go on and discuss all of its abilities and what you can use a Doa Dick for. So, let's get into this. Doa Dicks are these little armored guys. And to be honest with you, you could probably get away with not trapping these guys. Because they're not once they get to a certain level of like damage... They will turn into a ball and you can just keep spamming them. You will take reduced torpor and normal damage. But, I mean, it's sort of worth it. So here we have the Aberrant Doa Dick, which obviously will just be a normal Doa Dick if you didn't spawn it in. We're going to use really OP Rifle and Darts. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can shoot it. And as you can see, when it starts running after us, this guy's pretty slow. You can outrun it. You can run away, turn, shoot, and then run away again. And it's attack radius. I mean, it's got a huge attack radius, but it's pretty slow at attacking. So you can just keep running. Or you can do my preferred method, which is lead it up a trap like this. It's one foundation by four doors. Lead it up a ramp or stairs. And then trap it. But we'll show you this way for now. So we'll try and get to the point where it turtles up into a ball. But I think it might be close to top or running already. There we go. His attack is super simple to dodge. I'm just going to keep spamming this guy with some arrows real quick. This is level 150, so this is a max level according to official. You can also use arrows. You don't need to use a long neck. You can use trank arrows. It will take a little bit longer, and you've got the chance of it turning into the ball. So which if, if it does turn into the ball, which I said earlier, then it will take reduced torpor damage. Because uh, it will just take a whole reduced damage. So you want to think about that when trying to knock these guys out. You don't make the health too low. Because they're going to turn into a ball and all damage will just be reduced, which is a pain. You also want to try and hit it not in the shell. I mean, it won't make a huge amount of difference, but hitting it in the head will give you a better torpor effectiveness. So you've got one dart left right now. It is definitely torpor running. We wanted to try and knock that out with the last one, but we're going to have to switch to some shock darts because we've run out of ammo. Oh, we don't want this guy to run off the edge. Please don't go. Do we get it? Oh, it fell off the edge. What are you doing, bro? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm not in, uh, forgot I was not in creative. Okay, knock this guy out. Come on. Is he down? He's down. Perfect. So once it is down, you're going to wait for the starver to go down. So this is the food stat. You want this to go down like every other team I recommend. Hey, bro, not about that life. Not about that life. Get off me. Oh, my God. This is... Jeez. Whew. That was a close one. It's a good job we're wearing tech. I'm going to knock them out. <laughs> we had super OP darts, so that's fine. So you want to wait for the hunger stat to go down. As you can see right here, the food stat, you need that to go down before you start feeding it. And we'll give you some stats. So basically, on official, this guy, to get a perfect tame, you're going to want to feed it 17 regular kibble. Now, I don't have exact perfect... I don't have exact official stats, so the regular kibble for me, um, we only need a couple. And then you also can feed it medjo berries and regular berries with a less uh, taming effectiveness. So the regular kibble will take 17. It should take 27 minutes if you let it starve. You need 221 medjo berries and 332 mixed berries if you want to tame this guy at the lowest set. I'll put a little chart on screen for you there so you can have a look at that. So we'll tame this guy up. Uh, we're using regular kibble. And I'll be back momentarily to show you all of its abilities. Okay, so we're back and we're on the Doa Dick. Look at this guy. Crazy, it's like a armadillo. So these guys are pretty slow, but do some good damage. Look at that, 97 damage. This is a 150. At max tame, so it comes out at 225. And you know, you're quite easily able to kick a raptor's butt. So you have a left click attack, that is this one. So left click will swing its tail and be able to damage stuff. And then you also have a right click, which isn't an attack, but it is a mode of transportation. So you do a right click, and then you turn it into a roly poly, and you can roll away on the doe dick. I mean, it's a lot faster than the doe dick itself. Now, why do you want to tame one of these? Why with just like a just an attack like this, as well as the roly poly? Why would you want one of these? Well, basically, its abilities is the main reason. This guy is amazing at gathering stone. 
it is probably the best stone gatherer in the game. Not probably, it is. So I'm going to show you right now. We're going to go up to this piece of stone. And we're going to hit it for 200 odd stone. Instant smash, 200 odd stone. You roll over to the next one. Smash it again. That's 230 stone. Obviously, these rates are a little bit exaggerated. Uh, you can also get some thatch and wood, but it's a lower rate. And then you can just keep hitting the stone. But it also does a reduction in the gathering of stone. So stone doesn't normally weigh this much. If we drag it into my inventory, it weighs 50. If we drag it into this inventory, it weighs 12. What does that mean? It does a 75% weight reduction on stone, which means you can carry a load more in your inventory, which makes this guy the perfect stone um, resource gatherer in the game. You can also do the same with obsidian and metal, but I wouldn't recommend using this guy because the Nanki is much better at the obsidian and metal. The main thing is that this guy is a stone collector, so that's why you want to get one of these. You just take an RG, pick this up with an RG, fly somewhere, drop it off, and you can gather a bunch of stone. Obviously, just up your weight as long as your RG can carry this. Just keep upping your weight. Keep harvesting the stone. You can get a ton of stone. There's also loads of methods to make these automated. So, for example, you can have a raft, and you can go along like a riverbed with two doodicks on, or maybe more, and these will swing. And be able to gather a lot of it will be able to gather a lot of stone in the river while you're going across on the boat and it doesn't matter about it being over encumbered because it's not actually moving because you're moving the boat to move it so uh, it's very good it also auto harvests when you pick it up with an rg so if you pick it up with an rg and put it close towards put it close towards a rock it will start auto swinging and you can gather up stone that way it also is a bit of a tank i mean i wouldn't recommend it as a tank but it has got a lot of health and obviously the shell and all that and you can you can get away pretty quickly uh, but the main thing that you want this guy is for definitely getting that stone this is the doodick guys hopefully you found this how to tame video useful if you haven't make sure to like button subscribe to become a human being and then um, let's get on to the next how to tame video thank you all for watching i'll see you next time peace